Hello, this is Paul. It's uh, May 19th, 2021. This is our our site at uh, Glendale Year Round that we bought. Um, I've done a couple videos. Don't know if I've uploaded the second one, but we came up here on April 9th. Pretty muddy up here, raining. Mud pit. The folks here Glendale Corp have uh, done a really good job of um, getting us up out of the mud. Knocked down some trees for us, pushed some boulders aside, widened the entrance so that I can get that camper in. It's pretty hard to back. It's a pretty short circle. I have to pull over to that tree at the front end of my truck, actually a little farther than that, to get myself positioned to be able to start backing before I have to pull forward right there um, so here we are six weeks later they have put down uh, they've literally raised the elevated the site by about a full foot in shale and then they topped it off with gravel into the driveway this week they put a two big giant scoops of gravel down there that's that's like a spring that's running through there notoriously wet <clears throat> i like to keep my truck clean all the time i run it through the car wash probably three or four times a week um and uh, it's driving me crazy really wanting to clean it um so the camper that we have is a 2020 it's a lance 2465 model it's comfortable, very comfortable. We've been able to work through this pandemic in that camper, probably a total of seven weeks over the last year. Um, combined, of course, not all at once. And we're working this week. And um, out there at the pole, when we got here in April, we had a 30 amp plug. Actually, we had a 50 amp plug, but there was only a 30 amp breaker out at the box. Um, obviously presents a little bit of a problem when you got a 50 amp camper. You can still do a lot of things, but there were three major things that weren't working for us. My wife's fireplace, which is the key feature of this thing to her. Um, and it was cold and rainy that week, so we couldn't use it. Microwave wasn't working, so we had to use an extension cord to plug it into an outlet. <clears throat> and then we had a water heater that wasn't working on electric, so we had to burn through some propane for hot water. But, um... They ran us a line all the way from the pole, all the way to the shed, put in a 100 amp breaker along with a third, uh, excuse me, we've got 100 amp out at the pole, 50 amp, a 30 amp, and 220s in the shed. So, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, what this is going to allow us to do is once all the work is done, We'll be able to um, put a washer dryer on the other side. So they run electricity. They've also run internet. And there's our internet modem. So we've got a modem. We'll be able to set up security cameras and monitor our property even when we're not here. Um, and then they ran water to the other side of the shed. This room, once we get it all cleaned up, put it into our outdoor carpet. We've got the paint already bought. I'll make this nice we do have to have a contractor come out and replace that portion of the of the roof it looks like black mold so we're gonna get that repaired um, and then put a metal roof on this thing once that's done then we can clean the inside up got a nice day bed from ikea and some storage solutions we'll be able to leave all of our clothes we won't have to drive it back and forth from our primary residence again previous owners California grape, it looks like he's being tortured. So that's fun. Um, again, it's pretty messy. You can see water line, electric. Below that, we're gonna have a uh, washer dryer combo unit delivered on Friday. Talk to the delivery folks from uh, Home Depot. We're gonna have that put right here. Got a drain. 
we'll put the vent right next to it and they were kind enough to talk to our neighbors who we haven't met yet but our neighbors were kind enough to allow us to tie into their drain drain pipe so they've got they had an above ground drain we paid to have it um, buried for them and then put down grass the grass is already starting to come up you can see it coming through the hay so that we could tie our drain from our shed from our washer dryer into there so we don't have to go all the way underground to our campsite so we'll have a full-blown wa working washer and dryer up here we'll be able to leave our clothes we're also going to put a refrigerator in here so we don't have to worry about hauling condiments and things like that back and forth keep water other beverages in here um, so we're just bringing the bare essentials with us basically just throwing the dogs in the truck um, and getting up here um, we've met our neighbors back here um, great folks um, looking forward to seeing what a summer around here is like um, we have some cleanup to do obviously but we hooked in got a on a lance if you're not familiar with them there's actually like unlike most travel trailers this actually has three drain poles we got a black hose gray hose and then there's a fresh water hose and a pipe also that you can drain this is the setup that they provided for us so we've got um we're using fresh water right now from the uh from the tank just kind of burning through that the water pressure is incredibly high here um and the water pump we've been careful to make sure that our regulators are on and the regulators when water's running has it pegged dead center where it's supposed to be so the regulator's doing its job but we did notice on our last trip that we were starting to have a little bit of problem with our water pump and the lance customer service outstanding folks by the way are shipping uh, a water pump to our house and they're going to pay to have somebody whoever i can contact is qualified uh they'll go ahead and pay the invoice so um it's been comfortable usually sleep really good in this lance um enjoy it very much it's a little uh it's a little weird to have a second home and um but we have been able to spend time with our daughters and grandkids up here uh, three or four times already since we got up here on Saturday. So that's the whole reason. You know, you're working and then you're able to spend evenings, have dinners, um, hang out. We went to one, of, we were able to be there for one of our daughter's uh, birthday parties. She just turned seven, one of our granddaughter's birthday parties. She just turned 17. So uh, pretty cool stuff. But this is the progress. I mean, this site is usable now. We 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 had so much mud and muck and leaves and everything. Um, the time we were up here in April, that um, I mean it's glamping, right? It's a glamper, but when you're having to hose your dogs off in the rain, I mean that's not the kind of glamping we had in mind. So what we're gonna do is um, we've got contacted some folks to see if they could come out and give us quotes for an RV pavilion I spoke about that in another one of our um, one, another one of my videos but basically the pavilion would go all the way over to the side of the lance cover it and they extend out to about where the end of those rugs are maybe even a little farther and we've decided for now that we are not going to put in a deck um, because it's too precise to have to back a camper with a deck and you could damage both the camper and the deck um, we found an outdoor flooring solution that ikea offers that uh, we think would be a really nice solution for the first few years until the uh, ridiculousness of wood prices come down and we have uh, better identified how we will use this site but appreciate your uh listening in and um again glendale year round um we'll talk to you soon thanks